Hi, I'm Tim Williams of Dwyer Williams Potter, Injury Accident Attorneys. I'm the lead litigation attorney for our firm. Sometimes people, they're involved in, in an accident, it could be an auto accident, it could be a fall down uh, stairs or fall on ice, but they, they have a knee injury. And the doctors diagnose them with what's called a plica injury. Now, I've never heard of plica until about eight years ago, and I suspect that many of you haven't either. So I, what I'd like to do at this point is to talk about what is a plica and how, how can it become injured in an accident. Let's look at the model. This is a model of a right knee. This would be the outside of the knee. This is the inside of the knee. This is your shin bone down here. Here's your kneecap, and here's your thigh bone. So the knee would bend like this. Now, over top of all this stuff are muscles. Your thigh muscles come down and attach here. There's muscles from the bottom that come up and attach here, and that's what controls all the movement of your knee. And because the muscles are overlying the bone, there's a protective layer between the bone and the muscle called the plica. And the plica, if you can imagine, is it's, it's like a, a thin plastic bag for the sake of argument. So if, if you imagine a thin plastic bag over this, when it's bent, it's nice and smooth, right? But when you straighten it, there's all that extra baggage. There's all that extra material that needs to go somewhere. So what a plica does is it actually folds itself up, kind of like an accordion. But what happens with an impact, let's say you're hit from the front, it damages all the way through the muscle, damages the plica. The plica swells, okay? So if it swells and you bend your leg and then you straighten it, it can actually get caught into the joint itself. And that's called a plica or plical injury. So when you have a plica injury, uh, it, it can actually be very difficult to diagnose because it does mimic some other injuries of the knee. And obviously, if you have an impact to your knee, the doctors are trying to figure out, well, what's injured? And plica could be among the list of, of other injuries. The other reason why plica injury is difficult to diagnose is that it's so thin, it doesn't show up in an x-ray, and it really doesn't show up in an MRI. So the only, only way to go in and actually confirm that the pain you're having is from a plica is to uh, go in arthroscopically with a camera and actually look at it firsthand. That requires surgery. So this is important because doctors, um, they're rare to go straight to surgery. They try to, uh, to address the symptoms with uh, medication, with physical therapy, uh, maybe with injections to see if they can get the pain and swelling under control. But ultimately, if the pain's bad enough, they may have to do the surgery. Now, if you come and you have a claim before the surgery takes place, the insurance carrier is going to say, you know, you can't prove it's a plica without the surgery. Uh, you haven't had the surgery, there, so therefore we're going to deny the claim. We don't think it's plica. And that can be a very difficult position to be put in. It can also be difficult in the sense that if you did have the surgery and you're having ongoing issues with the plica, okay, so it's been confirmed with the surgery, but you're still having ongoing issues, well, how do you value that? And what do you say to the insurance company? And it's those situations where a lawyer becomes very important.